6th of January, Friday. Uh, we're finally over and done with the Christmas and New Year's break and finally a little bit more recharged. So wanted to do a new share for Euroball Talk. A uh, lot of things been happening, doing a lot of uh, scouting videos, especially for past and present Euroleague players. Uh, hope you've been enjoying that. If you haven't seen those already, uh, go over to uh, Ubuntu Basketball's YouTube channel and then check them out over there. I've playlisted them under uh, scouting vids. So take a look there and I'm pretty sure you'll most probably enjoy the analysis I actually have done over there. Um, I've been pondering on whether or not to really continue on with Euroball Talk really, to be honest, because um, with all the scouting videos and the fact that I've been focusing so much more on the EuroLeague and the players over there, uh, I'm thinking about continuing on the scouting videos, therefore, and maybe including also potential targeted players from other European leagues that can potentially be uh, among the incoming transfers or even maybe even uh, keeping it even wider of a net and looking at, um, let's say, potential uh, EuroLeague pickups in general. So uh, definitely thinking about that. But uh, today I wanted to also kind of like dig in a little bit more on this. Um, second part of the season in Europe is already underway. And uh, with some leagues like the EuroLeague, I mean, there's been really little break and there've already been uh, games that have been played out uh, even um, over the past days. So um, a lot of cool games have been happening, but uh, one thing that I've um, seen is a lot of intense defense by a lot of teams. And uh, I'm most probably going to do a little bit of a creative video uh, that you might see separately soon so just wanted to share that so keeping it very short and fresh uh for this return episode of euroball talk um i do have intentions on having uh, a few conversations up that i've uh basically been having with uh coaches and players and uh people around europe uh, with regards to a potential phd level uh study slash entry that i'm thinking of too so uh, you can most probably look forward to seeing those insights soon by me. So yeah, I uh, wanted to share all that. Uh, thank you for watching. And feel free to like, comment, or drop your notes um, for sure to me. And yeah, I definitely always appreciate you guys. Very, very close to hitting 1,200. Um subscribers as well on youtube so if you haven't subscribed already please do so it'll definitely help out uh thanks so much and hope to see you guys soon